All right, uh, look at this, and, and I would urge you, if you're in Smith County, just take a look outside, look up to your north, to your northwest. Technically, the technical term for this is an Arcus cloud because of its arc shape. Uh, we often refer to these as shelf clouds. Okay, so it's not a wall cloud. You'll see it coming in. It's a shelf cloud. So what's going on? Remember, there's cold air, cooler air at the top of thunderstorms, especially when you have ice and hail. That falls through the thunderstorm, right? At the same time, you've got warm air at the surface, very humid air. And so at this point where you see that cloud forming, net condensation is overtaking net evaporation and then you've got the clouds and it just looks really ominous and it's a really really cool picture all right let's go to the radar i'm going to show you the radar image that is in association with the shelf cloud as it rolls in look at this gilmer to Tyler back here into northeastern parts of Henderson County. So right along the leading edge of that, that's where that cooler air is flowing out and encountering that very warm and moist air out ahead of it. Also, the potential here is for 60 to 65 mile an hour winds in parts of this thunderstorm as it drops to the southeast. Latest timeline on this, it should be in Tyler here in about five minutes. Uh, Liberty City in about 10 minutes, White Oak 15 minutes from now. Kilgore in about a half hour, Overton around 730, Mount Selman around 730 also. Have another severe worn storm down here toward Aiken and Garrison, dropping south towards San Augustine. Should be there at about 721. This one may pack some winds in excess of 55, close to 60 miles an hour. We did have a report of, of tree down onto a residence, and this was on Forest Street, just on the southwest side of Henderson. But back to that just ominous cloud, a uh, very funky looking shelf cloud as it rolls into, into Tyler, into Smith County. Uh, just what a fabulous, phenomenal shot. If you get any picture of that, please share that with me, weather at cbs19.tv. All right, Tyler right now 76 degrees, Longview's down to 80, Nacogdoches at 80 degrees, rain being reported at Lufkin 85. Soon at Tyler, we should have a thunderstorm reported. This is uh, what it looks like on our satellite and radar picture. And you can see, again, this just really has been griping my hide all week. We've had this northwest flow. Sometimes showers and thunderstorms get here, sometimes they fall apart. In this instance tonight, they're getting here. And so we look back upstream and there's potential for another one to move in after midnight. It's just a matter of this will hold, this holds together or if it falls apart. Let's assume it holds together. Then we have showers, thunderstorms that'll be weaker than the ones this evening, rolling in overnight, ending early tomorrow. And then we heat up into the mid 90s. It is going to be a hot, humid day tomorrow. Sunday's probably even hotter with temperatures in the upper 70s to start the day, finishing the day in the upper 90s. So the Urban Kids um, hooked on East Texas Fishing Derby tomorrow. Damp and cloudy. It, and there may be a left, leftover shower at 8 a.m. I, I think it'll be gone. Summer breeze at 10 a.m. I think we get a break with the clouds. Temperatures in the lower 80s through 10 and then a hot finish with temperature around 90 degrees at noon. And then the heat dome just intensifies next week. It just gets hotter and hotter with highs climbing into the upper 90s by late in the week. So here's your bill. Scott and White, Texas Spine Joint Hospital, seven day forecast. Showers ending early tomorrow, perhaps before daybreak. But let's just say they could hold on till 8 a.m. Then it turns hot. We're up to 95 in the afternoon. Hot stretch begins on Sunday. Let's call it a heat wave on Monday. And then the heat wave day one, two, three, four between Tuesday and Friday. Highs each day around 100 degrees. Of course, throughout the evening, we'll keep, we'll keep an eye on the thunderstorms as they roll back into Smith County. And uh, we'll let you know if any more warnings are issued.